Okay, so this is gonna be a video on getting your goggles put together. So this is gonna be different than yours, but it's generally the same. You're gonna have a knob on the front. Um, here you have one, two, and then a pull and rotate, which turns on the IR cam or light there. Um, this is actually on right now. And then this first position, if it has two positions, is for when it's tilted up. When you tilt them up in the helmet, it'll shut off automatically, um, though I find that it generally doesn't work. Um, just as a feature uh, in this particular set of night vision goggles. So this, I usually just go two clicks. Okay, unit's on. Um, before that, you're going to put your battery in. Your battery cap is going to look like this, uh, approximately. Your, your system is going to be a little bit bigger, but generally the same thing. You run lithium batteries. These ones I use a lot, so I've um, kept the... I keep the batteries in it just on occasion. I've got these bikini covers. These are to protect the lenses. Obviously, you want to keep these protected and taken care of. Um, you never want to operate these without lens covers uh, during the day, um, and you need to be very mindful that you turn these off uh, whenever you're done with them. So the process is, if you were to get it out and use it, <clears throat> um, and then this one, you can see there's a little tag inside there that tell, shows you the orientation of the battery. But, okay, so you'd get it, you'd open it up, put your battery in. Okay, so that's operational. We can see the switches on the front. We'll, uh, okay, turned all the way to the this direction, off. You notice the direction of it. Off is all the way this way. Okay, so that's off. Now, we'll come over to the helmet. So we'll put those there. Um, this is your, like, you have something similar to this. This is just my ballistic one. You're gonna have a mount like this, or at least you should in there. Um, this is what you're going to mount it to your helmet with. You have a push button down here that allows you to remove it. And then come back down and just advance that over. This button here allows you to lift up the night vision and stow it up high. And then when you want to drop it back down, you just push that button and that will come back out. You've got some points of adjustment here. So this is your height adjustment. So you can slide this up and down and set in any position. You just push this cam back and that locks it there. You then have this advance in and out. Okay, so you push both on either side and that allows you to bring them forward or bring them back depending on if you're wearing glasses or how you want to see the image. You'll adjust them forward and back. I tend to run them close to my eyes so I get as much of the image as possible but that's how I run it. And then you have uh, tilt, okay? So this is your tilt function. I tend to run it uh, just a little bit up like that. I'll have to reset this once I'm done here, but you'll, uh, you kind of set your height. Now, the way this works, you've got your dovetail here and this dovetail here, and this drops in to that there, okay? So I'll show you again. That's indexed. To remove it, you push down on this and then you pull up on that. But it's pretty simple, you just pull, remove. All right. So here we've got the night vision set in the system. If you wanted to stow it upwards, you can stow it upwards. You push and fold down, stow downwards. Um, yours will articulate. So you notice you just grab to articulate and put them into position and then your switches on the front. We'll go over how it should be worn and uh, setting up the image. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna set it such that I kind of spread them out a little bit. This will give me the biggest field of view. Uh, put that there. I'm just looking at the back of my goggles because I know what they're gonna look like because I've done this a couple of times now. You've got a couple of adjustments here. Points of adjustment are this rear ring you can rotate. This is going to set your focus, or sorry, your zoom on this eye. It's called your diopter ring, right? And this sets your ocular lens. This is your objective lens. Here's a focus ring there, okay? 
this focus ring is used to adjust the focus on this eye. Same thing exists on this side. You have a diopter ring here, which you're going to adjust the magnification of the two, and then you're gonna set your front eye. Now, when I'm setting these up, you have to determine what your focal distance is gonna be. And for me, that's like 35 yards usually. Um, so in your case, like I would go out the back porch and I would look towards your guys' backyard into the field behind the house. And that's what I would set it with. Now, if these two are not uh, both magnified at the same magnification, if they're not set the same, um, and you'll set it to both your eyes because your eyes will be a little bit different. But generally speaking, you want a clear image. Um, and what you'll do is you close one eye, you'll focus it, you'll get it set. And what you want to see is essentially whatever you're looking at is, is pretty much the same size if you go aided or unaided. Basically look through it and focus it at your far target, right? And then come to this side, look through it, focus it, far target, right? So like closing one eye, you focus your front ring here, right? And this is first one focus, second one focus. Both times you're doing this with your eyes closed, open both your eyes. Now, if when you open both of your eyes, you see that the image is blurry or it kind of makes your eyes strain because you're having to change, you're actually having to do two different focuses on your eyes, then you'll just start adjusting your ocular rings. If you make a small adjustment on your ocular, your diopter ring, right, in your optic, ocular lens and it doesn't clear up the image, then go over to the other side and make small adjustments rotating back and forth until you find the sweet spot where it's supposed to be. And then now your focal points are set and you're ready to use them. You shouldn't have to do this very often, but it's not uncommon to have to just do slight adjustments as you're operating and doing things just to kind of get them back where they need to be. But you'll, you'll adjust your rears and your fronts. Um, and that's essentially it from here. You know, you can set them, like I tend to run mine real close to my eyes. Um, the only disadvantage is, is that they tend to hit the bottom here. If I try and bring them out of the way and look up while I'm you know, driving or doing something else, it doesn't include wearing night vision goggles. So that's uh, this whole setup. When you're done, you'll make sure, if you don't have lens caps, you always make sure you turn them off and you don't look in the light. Uh, best thing to do is just to take the battery out. Um, but that's more or less your setup. You're supposed to be a uh, you're supposed to have a counterweight assembly that's going to go on the back of your bump helmet and then I am going to send you a skull cap which is a mesh kind of like a ball cap minus the bill that you wear that has a, a shroud on it on the front your nomenclature for this are this is your helmet this is your shroud your shroud is what your mount goes into right or it's where you're some people call it a, a rhino but this is your mount okay um, and then these are your goggles your um, objective lens one and two ocular lens one and two your ir this is your infrared um, light so you'll have a setting on here if you go all the way so one click two click three clicks usually for the third click you have to pull out and then rotate so your third click will be First one's on tilt, second one's on all the time. Pull out, pull out, and then rotate. Right, come on now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so you'll pull out and then rotate. But that'll allow you to turn on your uh, infrared filter. This one has a swing arm. This is a focusing ring, so I can focus and make a small dot or just have it be a flood. Now, uh, when it comes to setting up the position of these in your eyes, what you want to do is set the distance such that uh, you get a complete image. Okay, so I'm going to turn this all off and then we're going to go to night vision mode. Okay, so here we're looking through our uh, ocular lens. My hands are a little bit shaky. So one of the things is when you're setting this up, you'll notice if it seems really small, basically if you can't see the entire circle on the inside of the lens, then they're either too far away or it's canted. 
okay? So you wanna look at it straight on and get it in such that you can see that inner circle. So you have your outside circle, you notice I'm moving that around. Your outside circle, you have your inside circle, you wanna get that set and then you can focus with that or at least you'll know that your eyes are in the right, right place. When you're adjusting the binoculars, you'll um, move them both in and out in order to get them set so you have one image.